Hey, see you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little tutorial. I was kind of trying out if I could see if I could do it. It's gonna be like half up, half down, side swoop with a claw clip. It's really cute. But if you wanna see how I achieve this look, go ahead and keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm starting off on freshly washed hair, of course, and I'm going in with the B Girl by The Do. And I've already used this product before. If you wanna see me do a full wash and go, tutorial i will link it down as well as it will be in the i card above um right here i'm trying to part my hair and best believe i was fighting my hair um because my hair want to do the utmost whatever i want to do and i'm literally fighting for my life in here i'm seriously like look look but anyways you just part your hair in a half up half down however much hair you want up front um i generally think i had Put too much hair up front because when i got to the side swoop it was like it was complicated but this is a process for now you don't have to really worry about how like straight and crisp the part is because you're literally you're not going to see it whatsoever i mean the sides yeah worry about the sides but the middle part you can't really see the top of your head for it well i couldn't you see all that hair but i made it as straight as i could possibly make it and that's what really took the longest time well, once I finally got my part figured out, I then put the front up and now we're finna work on the back section first and I'm just making it in smaller sections. The directions on how to use this product says to apply onto wet hair. So that's why you see me going crazy with the spray bottle. Um, I do have low porosity hair, so that's why it seems like I'm spraying more than I need, but I just have a little porosity hair, so my hair don't really absorb all that water. After I submerge my hair in all that water, I then go in with my tangle teaser and detangle from ends to roots. That is very key and very important for detangling your hair in the natural hair community, no matter if it's your fingers or a brush. Then I go in with, I start off with this amount, but this is the consistency of the gel. Um, you will see later on in the clips that I add more gel and then I focus a lot on the roots because I don't like poofy roots. Make sure you're focusing all the product in your root because, yeah, you're working it in, but you're also working the product down to your ends. So make sure you apply more product onto your roots once you are satisfied. Let's get into the curls. Anyways, I did the same exact step on the other side, but I wet my hair some more. That's why this side looks a little bit better than the other side. So you'll probably see me go back in. No, you don't see me go back in. Um, I just repeat the process. <laughs> I, I didn't realize I cut that out. Um, I just continue the process throughout the whole back half, and I will get back to y'all once I get to the front. Let's get into the curls. This is what it's looking like so far that I finished the back half. Now time for the, the, the hard, scary part, okay? um, You see me here just putting my hair in a ponytail, the one that was already, you know, that I styled. 
and now we're gonna operate the front and since I'm doing a swoop of course I'm doing a side part and depending on how much swoop or depth of your swoop you want it varies on how high or low your parting is going to be so once I got the amount of hair I want on each side I then of course worked on the smaller section first because in my brain that's faster that's easier <laughs> um yes we're working on wet hair in the front we're doing the same process as we did in the back of the hair only thing I did differently is I didn't focus as much on the roots because I'm gonna focus more on the roots when I put my hair in position and you will see later on Now I will be taking my hard brush and smoothing it out and putting my hair in the position that I was talking about. But I only have gel on it as of right now. And I kind of just messed around and just brushed it through. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm literally just winging it. <laughs> but I'm putting my hair in position for the most part. And then I'm going to start working on the other side. And all I'm doing is repeating the same process. So as you can see, I left my roots kind of poofy and now I'm trying to like mold my hair into the soup I want. And this is the gummy wax that kind of went viral on TikTok. My honest review on this product is um, I feel like it's overhyped in my opinion. It did hold, but it didn't hold long enough. So if you're thinking about buying it, do not waste your money in buying it like I did. And as you can see, we're just trying to mold the swoop and the swoop took me out. I was very frustrated. Like I cut the camera off a few times because I was like, I want it to swoop how I want it to swoop. And the gummy wax, how, or edge control or whatever you want to call it, is like shining jam. And shining jam don't really work in my hair, right? Unless it's blow dried. So do with that information as you will. Just know I was fighting this for a cool little minute. So once I hit a point where I like the swoop, I know it's not perfect right now, but I'm going to go back in with some more product and an edge brush to make my swoop a little straighter. You see the little straggled hairs, but that's besides the point. I was fighting for my life. So next you will see me with my hair tied up because I didn't show the process. Like I said, I was fighting my hair really bad. I was getting emotional. Anyways, so we're adding the claw clip right now. So I kind of just twist it upwards and I added the claw clip to the base of the ponytail. And then you will see me let down the back half, the the down part of the half up, half down. And I was like, okay, um, maybe this will work. So I was just letting my hair dry a little bit more. I had went in with a diffuser for like a little bit, but I also kind of like the wet look. And this is what we're working with after it dried. It dried pretty fast. Using that gel, your hair will dry really fast, but not in a bad way. And this is what we're looking like. Ignore that gap. That gap bothered me as well. It bothered me. But this is the full on result. Hopefully you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.